Hi, Neen. Hi. Are you ready to answer some questions? Yes, I am. So what would your friends say are your top three qualities? My friends would probably say trustworthy, compassionate, and driven. How would you describe your experience as head girl so far? I think it's been truly a wonderful exp experience, even better than I expected, especially working with the SLG, having that support system around has been so helpful when having a role like this. What is your favorite BISR memory? My favorite BISL memory would definitely have to be International Day. Um, just being with the people from the same culture as you while witnessing the multi-diversity of our school has been such a memorable experience. What advice would you give to someone writing their personal statement? I would say make it as personal as possible. At the end of the day, they want to see who you really are. And there's only one of you, so make sure you make it as personal as possible. What is the most exciting adventure you have been on? The most exciting adventure I've been on would definitely have to be the Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award to the mountainous regions of Taif. I think witnessing that side of Saudi Arabia that we never really witnessed before was truly an ex amazing experience. What is your favorite thing to bake and why? My favorite thing to bake is definitely my apple tarts. My dad can't stop getting me to make them. He loves them. Hi, Hader. Hi, Hanin. Hi, Hader. How are you? I'm good. So what is your favorite sport to play and watch? I'd say my favorite sport to play is definitely basketball, but I'd have to say to watch is probably boxing. There's something about the excitement for a big fight. Do you support any basketball team? Yeah, I support the Milwaukee Bucks. What are you looking forward to most in your last year? Ooh, I'm looking forward to finally getting our senior jackets. Describe your journey at BISR in three words. I'd have to say memorable, uh, challenging, and life-changing as one word. What inspired you to join the SLG? I'd say having a voice is extremely important. And I think being in the SLG, it allows you to use that voice and actually make changes. Which one of the REACH values resonates with your personal values? I'd say challenge has been a value that's resonated with me for the longest time. But recently, I've also been thinking a lot about happiness because that's one of the most important things. Who is one sports legend you look up to and why? Oh, I'd have to say LeBron. I think he's the GOAT and his legacy that he's left behind is something else. What helps you stay calm before a big game and what is a pre-game ritual of yours? Ooh, pre-game ritual? I'd have to say making sure I'm warmed up and I've stretched is just some physical things, but mentally, if I have any nerves, I like to make sure that um, I visualize what I want to do in a game and making sure that, you know, I'm just ready for the game. You right, Hader? Yeah, I'm good, bro. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Hi, Tofik. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. What are some ways you take care of your mental health? Ooh, that's an interesting first question. Um, I would say just getting out and about, not staying in the house all day, eating good, exercising, um, and if anything, having a person to talk to is always nice. What are your top five favorite movies? Ooh, okay, so number one has to be um, Interstellar. Best movie of all time, by far. Uh, number two, a bit more low-key, Bones and All. It came out recently, but it's a really, really good movie. Uh, three, probably Shutter Island. That was really good. Um, four, okay, four is a little bit different. Four is Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. It was so good. I was so surprised when I first watched it because I didn't expect it to be good, but it was really good. And five would be Inception. Oh, wow. It seems like you're a Christopher Nolan fan. Yeah, big one. <laughs> Is there a specific event you look forward to organizing or have organized and why? Okay, um, I'd say the event I look forward to the most helping to organize would be the prom because it's going to be our last one. We're all year 13s now, so it'll probably be the last event I do help organize and probably the most significant as well, yeah. If you could swap lives with someone, alive or dead, who would it be? Mm, I'm quite happy being me, but if I had to, it would probably be like a sports star like Messi or Ronaldo or something. What is your favorite part about your culture? Um, I would say it would have to be the food. The food is so good, that chicken, curry goat, all of that. It's such a good part of uh, Caribbean culture. And lastly, what piece of advice would you give to someone planning on applying for the SLG? Okay, my biggest piece of advice would be apply for the SLG role that suits you the most. I think people have this stigma that you should go for head boy, head girl, because that's the best role, but, for, but it won't be the best role for everybody. And if you're interested in culture, interested in, about diversity, maybe the best role for you would probably be going for interculturalism. And talking of interculturalism, here's our head of interculturalism, Asil. Hello. Hey, Asil, how's your day? 
It's good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Okay, this is not a meal, rather a drink, but it would be either coffee or Celsius. What is the most challenging part about being in the SLG? I think it's finding a way to manage your time, especially with A-levels and at timings that we have um, bigger events. What is on your senior year bucket list? I'm going on a senior trip with a few of my close friends. Ooh, where do you guys plan on going? Uh, France and then maybe Greece. How would you like to be remembered? I'd like to be remembered as someone who's been helpful and caring and that has made a positive impact on our school's community. Which event do you look forward to most during the school year? This may be slightly biased, but it would be International Day because I love how the whole school comes together. What do you hope to achieve whilst being head of the Intercultural Committee? I want to have more events like International Day because um, I want to have all the different cultures interacting and promoting our school's diversity. Um, now we're going to go and see our project manager, Anwar. Hello, Anwar. Hi, Anwar, how are you? I'm good. What is one thing you do to de-stress from school? I'd say the main thing I do to de-stress from school is probably just playing football, playing sports. I love playing football. When I play football, I feel like my mind is just blank. Like I just, I'm not thinking of any studies, any schoolwork, anything like that. I'm just thinking about the game, how I'm playing, and yeah, that's it. So I feel like that's my number one thing to just de-stress. As part of the SLG, what is one goal you are working towards? So at my time at BRSR, I've been here since year six. So I've been here a pretty long time. I'd say the most profound memories I have is just the events that have been run, house day, international week, all stuff like this. So being a project manager, I want to try and run events like this, create the same memory for those little kids just like me, just so they have a good memory when they leave here. So. What is your comfort meal? That's a good one. Mm. So I'm from South Africa. One of the, our main dishes is boboti. Uh, I remember being small, I'd be like full of mud, running inside and my mom would just make me that meal. So it's a very nostalgic meal for me. So I'd have to say that. If you had all the money in the world, what would you spend it on? Of course, I'd like to say putting my family on holiday. We all go out, we all do whatever we want. But of course, there are real issues that are spent on people that are struggling in the world right now. So I'd have to say that. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I'm going to be finish university in the business world and hopefully be a rookie uh, in my business, business management and finance, which I'm hoping to study. So hopefully I'll be there. Hopefully I'll take some of the aspects I have learned in BRSR and apply it in the business world. I think I hear our visual and performing arts. Hi, Sarah, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Are you ready to answer some questions? Yeah, for sure. What is the best piece of advice you've ever been given? I think it was definitely from my year seven English teacher. She told me to never stop learning, never stop reading. And I think it's so important because it's so easy to forget that school isn't just about taking exams, it's also about consciously acquiring knowledge. If you could play one instrument for the rest of your life, which one would you play? Uh, I think I'd play the violin, for sure. I've been playing ever since I was seven years old and it's been a decade almost and I can't imagine living without it. What are you most proud of about yourself? Um, I think the fact that I have this sort of resilience I've developed over the years, it helps me to sort of take on any challenge, you know, without struggling too much. What is one goal you hope to achieve as part of the SLG? I remember when I was younger, I used to look up to the SLG as role models of the school, and I really want to be a role model for younger students, both in visual and performing arts and in their education in general. Who is your favorite composer? I think it's definitely between Gustav Holtz and Clara Schumann. I love Holtz's um, Jupiter suite, but I also love Clara Schumann's Three Romances for Piano and Violin. So, either or. Hi, Kobani. Hi. How's it going? It's going good. How's it going for you? Good, thank you. What do you love most about your culture? The food, I think. Indian food, you can never really go wrong. It's always just the best. What's your favorite? Uh, depends on the day, but like most regular, it's biryani. 
What is one thing most people don't know about you? I speak Italian. It was a language I learned because I grew up in Italy and I went to Italian school for a bit of my life. Which book or movie impacted you most growing up? The Land of Stories. It was like the first series I read in year six and I just got so engrossed in it and it really got me into fantasy novels. What is one challenge you had to overcome whilst being a part of the SLG and how did you overcome it? Communication. I think it's been really difficult to kind of find an interface between younger students, but the more I make interpersonal relationships with them, like one-on-one, -on -one, then I feel like I can understand their needs better and I can have their needs met. Who was the last person you texted? My mom. I feel like that she's the only person I text. Because, you know, it's your mom. You always want to text her, right? Uh, this is Maria. Hi, Maria. Hi, Maria. Are you ready to answer some questions? Yeah. What does being a global citizen mean to you? I think being a global citizen is someone who understands and plays a role in community. Mm -hmm. What are three things you would take on a deserted island? I would take food, water, and a sewer mouse. What skills do you hope to develop during your time as an SLG member? Uh, definitely communication and teamwork because I feel like they can be used pretty much anywhere. What do you need less of in your life? I definitely need less worry because I feel like I worry about pretty much everything, like this video. What do you feel has been your greatest win in your life so far? Surviving year 12. What is a fun fact that not many people know about you? I used to have three roosters. Um, we gave them to my driver and then he cooked them. Oh look, there's Leia. Hi. Hi Leia, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What legacy would you want to leave behind after graduating? I want to be remembered as someone who made a change and had an impact on those around him. What are three things you are most grateful for? Uh, my cats, my support system and sleep. Why do you think it is important to advocate for mental health? because it's something that's so uh, misunderstood and stigmatized, especially in the Middle East. So as a school, we kind of want to make a change and work on that. What superpower do you wish you had? I wish I could fly. I just feel like I would be so fun and efficient. What is a myth about being part of the SLG that you'd like to debunk? I think a huge myth is that we go through a very rigorous selection process and then just chill. When that's not really the case, we have things to do every single day. As head of health and well-being, what piece of advice would you give to those who are struggling? I think the main bit of advice that I'd give is take it day by day. That's something I live by and I think asking for help is something really difficult to do but something that will help so much. So that's what I recommend. Hi Fatima. Hi Leah. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Hi Fatima. Hi. What is something you are passionate about and why? Um, probably eco and the environment in general, because as uh, time moves on, we should aim for a more sustainable future. What is your favorite dish from your home country? Uh, this is going to be really basic, but probably biryani. What was one goal you had coming into your role as an SLG member and how's it going? One of my main goals was to establish eco as an actual committee and to allow students to work on things that they're more passionate about. If you could be anyone for a day, who would it be? Um, probably my three-year-old brother, because he seems to be having a lot of fun in Foundation One. What was the last book you read? Uh, other than my chemistry textbook, it was probably when I reread The Little Prince. Uh, why don't we come into the eco garden so I can show you around? Oh look, it's Faris. Hi Faris. Hey guys. Hey Faris, how's it going? Good, good. What were the expectations coming into this role and how do they compare to the reality? Um, I think I was definitely expecting it to, to be very busy, um, but I think I learned that if you manage your time well, um, it's, it's definitely manageable. So I've been enjoying it. What is your most played song right now? <laughs> That's a very good question. Uh, why don't I open my Spotify app so my top songs are Hotel California, Comfortably Numb, and Wish You Were Here. Yeah. Who sticks out as being a positive influence in your life? Um, I think I would have to say my parents. Kind of goes without saying. I wouldn't be where I am without them.
If you were principal for a day, what would be the first thing you would do? I think I'd do a lot of things, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but the first thing I'd do would probably be um, bringing back some of the old activities we used to have here, which for me were some of the highlights of the, the school year. What is something you can't live without? Um, I don't know if this is like medically accurate, but I, I don't know how I'd live without like, football in general, whether it's playing or watching. Do you support any team? Yeah, I support the Leicester team, which is Liverpool, of course. If you could have dinner with any person, alive or dead, who would it be? That's another very good question. Um, maybe somebody like Nelson Mandela, I think. Be yeah, both interesting and someone I could learn from a lot. Anyway, all right, I'll see you guys. We have an SLG meeting. Okay, Faris, thank you so much for your time. Yeah.